Okay, Rosie, what did you wash your hair with last night? Um, so last night I shampooed and conditioned my hair. I used this new um, whey shampoo that you sent over the other day. It smells amazing. It's got a really nice kind of like lather Rosie, to it. Rosie, this is for Peggy and Dolly. This is pet shampoo. Wait. You're, oh, God. What? All right, so Rosie, if you have like two seconds mm -hmm. and you want to just put your hair up into something really cute, mm -hmm. I like to take like two fingers of tendrils in the front, in the very, very front. This is very 90s. Remember when everyone used to get highlights just in the very front of their yeah. hair? I used to love that. Ginger spice. Ginger spice. So basically take like two fingers width of hair in the front and then I like to kind of just go through and weave out some like fun little tendrils that will go like behind your ear and kind of hang out in front. I feel like when we did your hair for CFDAs, we did it so fast. Yeah, it was really fast. Did you feel like I put my heart and soul into it? I or do. I, like, I, I Why always, is this girl rushing me? No, I always feel like I put your heart and soul okay, into it. Okay, good. And actually, when I tried to recreate it a few days after, the thing that really helped me was, was pulling it back into a ponytail like in sections like you're doing now rather yeah. than just like scraping it all back I feel like that way you kind of really get to build a bit of texture and shape that's the mistake I think to, people like, make cutting it all back yeah like I think everyone just thinks like they throw their hair back into a bun but I actually always do it in two sections and I'm going to take a little bit of so I'm going to take a little bit of texturizing hairspray and just kind of spray it at the roots because I like everything to look really just undone and I'm gonna go through with my fingers and I do not use a brush. I literally, like I rake the hair with my fingers, making sure that you have like enough height in the front. And I always follow, Guido actually taught me this mm -hmm. when I was working on the shows. Like you wanna go from your eye line and kind of come up to an angle to the top of your head. You don't want it like on the very top top cause that's gonna make it look like I Dream a Genie. You want it to be just angled with where your eye is Nothing droopy. Like, I get really crazy about buns that, like, hit right here because it feels very grandma to me. I like it to be here because it's a little bit more of a chicer, like, lift that mm -hmm. it gives you. Um, always pay attention, to to your placement. So, like, I'm looking at your part here. Whenever you're doing a bun, you want to make sure it's centered because nothing's worse than, like, a lopsided bun. And I'm taking a bungee band, because that's when you get like that really nice, again, like I'm all about a facelift pony. Oh. And you can get these, you okay? Yeah. You can get these bungee bands at any like beauty supply or on Amazon. These are from Ricky's. Wow, that's tight. Yeah, and I like to tighten it and then- I feel we like can, it lifted my nose. We can always come through. I want to make you look like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> we can always go through afterwards and kind of pull at the hair. If you're doing this on your own, you've got your little half pony. Flip your head upside down. So I'm basically going to now gather the rest of your hair, mm -hmm. leaving the tendrils out. I'm going to gather the rest of your little lob and put it into that first little ponytail. And girls ask me this all the time about the short pieces at the nape of your neck. The best trick is bobby pins. And Rosie, I'm going to leave a couple of little pieces at the nape of the neck. But I just take the hair and I basically twist it like you're doing a chignon, a French twist, and just bobby pin those short bits as you twist up to get those little pieces to stay in place. So now I'm going to take a regular little rubber band, bring the rest of the hair up into that first ponytail, which is so cute, Rosie, I can't even. Well, upside down. All right, so now I want to make sure we have enough height here. So now that everything's secure, I'm gonna go through. You can also take a rat tail comb and just pull at it, just to get like some fun little bumps. I, that's what I love about this, is I think it has like nice volume, but it doesn't feel like promy. All right, so now I'm gonna take the ponytail. If you have fine hair, this is a good time to spray your ponytail. Even if you have like a little nub, you guys, I'm telling you, you can make a lob into something really substantial. And I'm gonna take a Mason Pearson brush. You can take a round brush, a board bristle brush, any brush you have. Hold the ponytail and just basically brush down to get as much volume as possible. You're not teasing it at the root, you're just brushing down. Are you having the time of your life, Rosie? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now- I just really wanna watch it. 
<laughs> Leave it like that. Yeah. It's like 80s. You're done. Rosie, this was great. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm going to take your hair. Are you paying attention? Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Yes, Mom. Okay, so now you're going to take your hair and you're going to basically, I don't like to just twist it around like people just do like a twisted ballerina bun. I like to actually like create it kind of like you'd be making a knot. So I'm going to take the hair and kind of twist it like I would be doing a knot and then just breaking that up. All right, Rosie, so now I'm just kind of twisting the hair into a knot. I'm gonna make it kind of small, and I'm using French hairpins, and I just bend them a little bit so that they curve to the head a bit, and sneak them in where I can. Are you okay? Yeah. You guys, French hairpins are amazing because they hide a lot more than bobby pins do, and they're just easy to get into, like, squiggle them into places to keep everything really secure. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you kind of my little trick, too, for getting that, like, perfect tendril look. I use two different tools, so what I'll do is I'll take a flat iron to get that really nice kind of bend at the root to kind of just fake a little bit of volume if you need to. And then I actually take a curling iron and I'll wrap just like we did your waves for your like down look. I'll take hair and from mid length to end just kind of like lightly go back and forth on those ends just to get a really nice loose bend that frames the face. I like that first bend to be kind of around the cheekbone area. And then I'm gonna go now and just twist the hair right around. These little tendrils are so important because you don't want to get too much curl because then it's like you look like Cinderella's like wicked step sisters. You want it to just have a really nice loose bend. So you want to just hit it really lightly. Another tip is if you curl and it's too curly, pull at it because as it's cooling, that wave will actually loosen up. Okay, so now I'm going to go through. I'm going to take a tiny bit of texture foam, dry texture foam and put it through my fingers and just kind of rub at it. It has this amazing ingredient called diatomaceous earth. So it's like not a wet product, it actually dries as you rub it. So I just like to do that in the front pieces to get that really cool, again, that like cool texture and that halo of like fuzz. Should we put you back in your CFDA dress? Yeah, I actually- The jumpsuit was so good. That suit was so cool. I just posted a picture about it the other day because I was like, it just chose it. Okay, let me see. It's such a great look. Oh my God, you're gorgeous. You're so cute. I'm so happy you like this look. I really do. It's now so I'm fun. I can sleep in it for three more days. You look gorge. Thanks, Jen. Rosie, this is the one thing. I think this keeps me hired back again and again. You need to hold your shield in front of your face. Because no one likes getting sprayed in the face with hairspray. Not with, with hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that, so <laughs> I'm just going to spray, mind my own business. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, Gorge, spray it and say it. You look so, so cute. Okay, so Rosie, we put one side back because yeah. I'm all about seeing a bit of the face. I'm using a blush brush with a little bit of hairspray on it just to get those little pieces exactly where we want them. And instead of like spraying the hair with hairspray, I like to use a blush brush and just kind of like... Lightly tap it. You know, about like getting lightly tapped. A blush brush? Yeah. Oh, this is really good for you girls that ha just had a baby and you have that hair growth. I have it. That's so annoying to like keep down. Use a blush brush. It'll like lay it down exactly where you want it. All right, Rosie, here we go. This is your 90s bun with bits. Thanks, Jen. How did I do? I love it. Okay, good. I'm gonna try and get three more days wear out of it. Yay, let's go get your CFDA jumpsuit. <laughs> we'll pretend.